so basically, I've just finished editing this video to realise that I accidentally deleted my intro. So, here is my office tour. I'm basically just finished it and I don't think it's ever going to be as clean as you're about to see it. So I wanted to get it out of the way. <clears throat> but yeah, here is my Disney office tour. <laughs> Bye! So first of all, you go up these stairs as our office is upstairs. Um, so I'm currently in the living room. So if we go upstairs, we've got just our vacuum cleaner here. And then this cute panda um, photo, well, photo, print. Um, this is from Next and this was £18 and I fell in love with it. Ideally, I'd really like to put it with like a grey sofa and with like mustard and grey cushions. But I don't have the budget for that, so... He stays here at the moment. Then you go up and you have Nick's Attack on Titan print that I got for him uh, two years ago. No, a, a year ago. No, two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. Um, That's from HMV, I think. And I think it was like £15. So anyway, we go up the stairs. And we get here. <laughs> Some of Nick's Simpsons. That's Nick's office. And then you go over my office here we have the main bit of my office which is going to be my youtube background and this is my disney collection so this is kind of like a disney collection video as well so we'll start off with the boxes so first of all this is like i got boxes so i could do like different themes um kind of a bit like how sarah louise porter does it if you see her videos but yeah, so this is like, kind of like my originals box. So I've got like, um, Mickey there. I've got my exclusive Scrooge McDuck pop figure that I got on, um, from Comic-Con in Paris. Uh, Pluto and Goofy, Chip and Dale, and then Daisy and Donald. Then I just got the like, the little vinyl, um, little Tsum Tsum vinyls as well of them. And then a Donald Daisy Christmas decoration, which I got for my birthday from Nick one year. And that is my originals box. And then that is from when Nick was younger, I think. But yeah, I haven't got a mini Mickey Simpson because I got the large Mickey mini Simpsons. Um, but yeah, that is my originals box. Moving on down, um, some people might say Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan. Why? Um, this is like my uh, lands box. So like Wonderland and Neverland, um, mainly because I wanted to do a Peter Pan one, but I didn't have enough Peter Pan stuff to just do Peter Pan. So I went for um, land themes. So I've got my Alice in Wonderland Simpsons here with a little hatter, my Alice um, pop vinyl, my Hot Topic exclusive Queen of Hearts vinyl, and then I've got my... Um, Peter Pan Simpsons at the back, including my 20th anniversary Tinkerbell, a uh, Tinkerbell tradition that Nick got me. Um, this mug is from Clinton's, and then on the back it says all it takes is faith, trust, and pixie dust. Um, that's from Clinton's, and then my fairy tale design um, Peter Pan notebook, which is from the Disney store, I think, two years ago. Um, which is really hard to get hold of now. I wish I never wrote in here. <laughs> and then I've got my Winnie the Pooh shelf. Um, so this is the um, 90th anniversary Pooh Bear that was available at Clinton's. I've then got more Simpsons, um, my Honey Pot mug from the Disney store, some more a tradition, uh, Eeyore tradition, um, Winnie the Pooh Brito figure. Brito? Is that it? Winnie the Pooh pop vinyl. This, which I had when I was younger, apparently. I don't really remember it. Uh, this Tigger um, vinyl Sum Sum that was in a mystery box from the Disney store. And then some little Sum Sums. Then we move on to my Lilo and Stitch box, which is a tiny bit empty. But I think I might put one of my Stitch plushes here. So I've got the Ducky Sum Sum. Um, I've forgotten what these are called. But I got it from my friend's. Um, have a shop in Western Supermare where they sell like Funko pop figures and then they sell like little things like this. I think it's something like a domes 
and this was something that Nick got for me when I was at work one time, but you should totally check them out. Um, I will link their Facebook in my description, they are called Poptastic Collectibles. They're really cool guys and pop figures are at decent prices. Um, then I got my little scrump Simpsons. More Simpsons and the Experiment 626 one that's exclusive in Disneyland Paris at the moment. Um, my Lilo animation mug, scrump, scrump. And then my Ugly Duckling figurine that Nick got me. And he's a bubblehead. <laughs> and then we move on to my first princesses. Um, yes, again, this is a, a three different boxes I wanted to do, but didn't have enough to give them a box each. So we've got Cinderella Simpsons. Yep, Cinderella Simpsons with Gus Gus there. We then have the Evil Queen at the back. And if we move Gus Gus, Maleficent. I then have the Evil Queen and Snow White in the Poison Apple popcorn holder from Disneyland Paris. I've then got a little Snow White Sum Sum here. My Aurora Daub, which I absolutely love. I really want the pink one as well. And then I've got some Sleeping Beauty um, Sum Sums. So Maleficent, Maleficent the Dragon, then the Rabbit and the Owl. Because they're the only two I have from the actual Sleeping Beauty collection. As they're the only two I managed to get. Um, but they're also the cutest ones and the ones I really wanted, so that's okay. Moving on down to my Dumbo shelf. Um, if I had like a book like this, I'd try to give them their own little space, um, just so the books could like be out on display as well. So this is my Dumbo showcase um, uh, plush. Well, it's not really a plush, she's more like a figurine slash plush that my uncle got me. Um, I don't know where he found it, but I'm so like happy about it and it's just so so cute I then have my little Dumbo Simpson and then the movie collection book and that is it for Dumbo <laughs> not much but that takes up so much space <laughs> moving on we'll do the two bottom shelves first so this is my Finding Nemo slash Finding Dory shelf um so I've just got loads of Simpsons um Nemo and Hank pop figures at the back more Simpsons, um, and then I've got the little, it's one of the, like, the little vinyl Simpsons, Bailey, that's one of the mystery figures, um, that you get in the blind bags, that's actually, like, a bath squirt, like, a water squirter thing, like, a bath toy, um, that I've had since I was, I don't know, well, since Finding Nemo came out, and then another blind bag, a figurine toy of Dory, from the Finding Dory one, as she has, attack now we've got the pixar shelf um so i've got all my dvds um there's one pop figure missing from here and that is russell because he doesn't fit in but it's fine oh no russell and doug i think yeah russell and doug so they don't fit in but they're together so that's fine oh look all my monsters and zinc symptoms have all gone weird at the back fab um so i have my hopper and like i said he's from like, like the others he's from a blind bag then I got the mini Simpsons I got the um ham piggy bank from the Disney store I think I got that for one of my birthdays um and then I've got the um lightning McQueen and Mater um Simpsons they're my two favorites from cars I have the New York Comic Con Mater toy um fine vinyl which is again from that I got for my birthday but I'm pretty sure it's from the guys at Poptastic, um, majority of these pops are from the guys at Poptastic, not gonna lie to you. Um, and then I got my Bing Bong, um, Sim Sim as he's my favourite. The Pixar DVDs in the background, missing the three Toy Stories as they are currently downstairs because I'm having a Toy Story day. Monsters Inc. Sim Sims, whatever has gone on in the back has gone on apparently. Wally, Joy, and then the Toy Story book which we got from the Toy Story restaurant in Harrods when it was open. We basically told them that it was Nick's birthday and they gave him that. If you, if you, When it was open, if you ordered from the kids menu, they gave you a book for free. And then we have like the second classic shelf. I should redo the first one first, but I'm here now. Uh, so this is from Beauty and the Beast up till Moana. So Bambi is actually on the first classic shelf, but she didn't fit. <laughs> Um, she didn't, it didn't fit, 
So I popped it here. There's quite a lot of Bambi stuff. So I have my Bambi snow globe, vinyl relations covered in glitter for some reason. And then my Sum Sums, favourite Sum Sum, like one of my favourite Sum Sums ever is obviously Lil Prince. Um, then I've got my Zootropolis um, Sum Sums. I love Little Judy and I love the fact that I've got Nick as well. They're like two of my favourite Disney characters. Disney foxes are amazing. Um, my Jafar Sum Sum from a blind bag. Elsa is the same from a blind bag. And then I have Sven. Um... He didn't come with Anna and Olaf, I've just popped them in there as I thought it was quite fitting. I got a little Baymax here, Sven, Anna. This Anna is actually a purse and that is from um, the Disney store in Times Square in New York. Now she's not going to go back, thank you. Um, that I got her ages ago um, and I don't think she ever came to the UK so I've got her. And then I've just got... Baymax and then Baymax in his armour and Judy hops him some here. Moving on, this is um, again to do with the books. So we have Moana, Little Mermaid, Lady and the Tramp. So I've got my Lady Sumsum and then the two mini ones here. Um, mini Sebastian and Flounder. Then I've got Sebastian, Scuttle, Ursula, Ariel and Flounder. And then I have a Pua Sumsum. And then my pop figure with a mini Pua. Um, that's the Moana pop figure I wanted just because I wanted Pua. Um, and then we have the re most recent collection of princess pop figures of Ariel in the, her dress. And then we have Ariel, sorry about the lighting, it's gone really dark all of a sudden. We have Ariel as a mermaid. And then my Lady and the Tramp figurines which I'm so happy with. We have the first classic shelf so this is everything from Snow White until Rescue is Down Under. So I've got my Aristocat Simpsons here and um, then I've got Jungle Book and then Mowgli he was a little blind bag figurine um, that I got in Comic-Con and um, if you watched my most recent Disneyland Paris haul you would see that I got him. And then I got my Pinocchio Simpsons and then a mini Pinocchio. I think I actually sold my actual Pinocchio Simpson. So I think that's where he is, but I got a mini one. <laughs> and then I've got Corella with Dalmatians and then my Dalmatian tradition that Nick got for me. And then in this box is nothing. Um, this is basically just, so my Tangled book, you'll see why that book's not out. And um, the program from the show I did in Germany, iPhone box, dissertation, notebooks. That is basically that. And then in the front I have my two Glotini figurines that I got when I went to Disneyland Paris for the first time. Um, they be, I don't think they do them anymore, but if you've got a kid's Glotini, you can either get Tinkerbell, Buzz, or Lightning McQueen on the side. I'm going to turn those off just in case the battery runs out because I never want them to run out. <laughs> so moving on over here. So we have my Elliot plush that I got from Disneyland Paris, if you'd seen my Disneyland Paris haul. Um, along with both Pete's Dragon DVDs and then my Elliot pop figure, yet again, Poptastic. <laughs> They're literally all these pops are actually from Poptastic now, I think. Oh dear. Um, and then in front of them, I just have my animation mug. Um, I got it because it has like all my favorite characters on it, basically, like Rapunzel and Pascal and then Tinkerbell, Pocahontas and Miko, Snow White, and then. Jasmine. So I got that one ages ago. I've never used it, um, but I've got the matching suitcase as well, and I absolutely love it. Then I have my Perry the Platypus Simpson, which is so hard to get now apparently, with a mini Perry the Platypus. I then got my Jack Skellington Simpsons, that Skellington pop figure, and then the big Simpsons for them are up here. I then have Doug. Tiana, and then my Aladdin Simpsons, Louis, Russell, and Sir Hiss, then a blind bag figurine of um, Sir Hiss, Mushu, Flash, Dr. Facilia, and then Dr. Facilia sits on top, Pocahontas, Beast, Lumia, Mrs. Potts, Belle in her, um, this is like the second collection, like an um, Ariel in her dress, and Miko 
And then the Lion King figurine. After that, it takes you down to the Beauty and the Beast section. I had too much Beauty and the Beast stuff to actually fit in a box. So first of all, we'll talk about this little box here. Um, my friend got this from for me from Poland. got um beauty and the beast simpsons i sold maurice and i sold the foo um i didn't sell philippe because i just loved him because i love the animal simpsons <laughs> um but the rest i needed um and mrs potts i haven't got because she looks like an anteater so i don't have her i just have chip which i'm not too keen on either but hey ho then got my chip purse in the back mrs potts purse mrs potts money box that i won from a touch of disney's instagram giveaway we'll put her link down in the bio um chip purse which i also won from her giveaway and chip bag another thing i won from her giveaway and then i have my beauty and the beast um meerkat that my mum got for me she also has elsa for me um but yeah it's so cute and then my beauty and the beast book and then before moving on i just have my jasmine plaque um that oh my goodness she was called Princess Tony at the time that I ordered from her. Um, I'll have a look and then I will link her down in the bio because I think she might have changed her name. But I will have a look. I'm really sorry if I've got it wrong. <laughs> um, and she's next to my Aladdin Simpsons. Then I have my Tangled um, plaque that she also made for me. Um, I'm so happy with it. I love it so much. And then I have my mermaid um, plaque that my mum got for me from Primark. Uh, my Rapunzel plaque um, that I got from Clinton's as I think it's just very fitting and Rapunzel's my favourite. And then now I say Rapunzel, we move on to the big collection. And that is the Rapunzel collection. So here we go. So this is my Rapunzel figurine. I don't know if you can tell, but it actually does... Ah, it actually does light up the lantern. So that is from Disneyland Paris. You can still get it. I got it when I went on holiday there um, last year, and that was it was half price. So I was quite lucky. Then I have my Lego set that Josh and Meg got for me for Christmas. Um, Rapunzel from the um, princess. Um, Princess and Dresses, I think it's actually called, like Ariel and Belle. Um, and then I have Maximus and then Rapunzel in her normal with little Pascal. My little Simpsons and then my Pascal figurine. I then have these Bullyland figures that my mum got for me and she put them on my birthday cake for me. So I could have a tangled birthday cake. Um, so they're all very special and they all stay here. Flynn doesn't actually stand up without a stand, so I've just got him resting on Maximus. But I thought that worked quite well, so yeah. I've then got my I See The Light figurine, which is my favourite scene and my favourite song. Um, my showcase figurine that Molly got for me and Sean got for me for my birthday last year. Um, my first ever Disney tradition that my classmates got for me in my first year of uni. Um, Connor got this for me in my second year of uni for my birthday, and I love the fact it's got the tower in her dress. Then I have my vinyl that Nick got for me in my third year of uni for my birthday. I don't actually have a vinyl player, I just love the fact that it's I See the Light. And then Connor got this for me for Christmas last year, and it is the animated doll. And then Kira got this for me last year for Christmas. Someone that she knew painted it for me, and I absolutely love it and then surrounding it i don't know if it's going to focus actually mickey mouse shaped lights then we move on and we have my calendar um this was given to me last year for my birthday and it is um part of and it is part of the dreams collection so for november it is pirates of the caribbean and then December, I think, yeah, it's just Mickey Mouse. 
love this calendar. It's literally one of my favorite cal been one of my favorite calendars. Sorry, I'm gonna have to get the same one next year. I then have my sword from the Legend of Zelda that my friend Alexi got for me. So so cool. It's the Master Sword. Um, my favorite video game. Love it. Up here next to it was my Hyrulean Shield backpack. Um, not anymore. Hey ho. I then got this shelf. Not sure what to do with it yet. I have another chip bag. Um, I think I'm doing for a giveaway. I don't know. I got it, and then I obviously got my giveaway prize. So yeah, I don't really know what to do with it. Might do a giveaway. Then two cups. They need to go downstairs. <laughs> they haven't made it yet. Um, my Rapunzel one has, but Flounder um, is on top of that one. Then I've got Finding Nemo. They're from the Disney store. Yeah. So now we move to my desk, and um, I'm currently watching Sprinkle of Glitter. Um, but and I've got my dressing gown up here because I was sat in my dressing gown. Um, but yeah, this is basically it. I've got my candles, which go really nicely together for some really weird reason. I only put them there because they both like go together Christmas colours. Um, but winter pine and strawberry shortcake smell good together. Just let you all know. Um, this is like a solar panel pug <laughs> that my mum got for me. Uh, my stitch pen pot, and then this bumblebee. Um, because the bumblebees on Magic on Parade in Disney Focus. Uh, Magic on Parade in Disneyland Paris were my favourite bit. The bumblebees aren't like Winnie the Pooh. I've got my Broadway sign that I got from New York when I went in my second year of college. Sorry if you just had my belly rumble. Um, my llama from um, Paris. It's, if you see my Primark haul from Paris, you would have seen that. Um, my Sarah and the Worm pop figure from the film Labyrinth. And then I've just got this little thing, it says Harriet Cake. This basically explains me, like, um, I love games, I love superheroes, and then I love magic. But it's also a dancer, um, fairy, so it fits with me perfectly. Then I've just got my phone, my 101 Dalmatians notepad, which is basically always with me, comes everywhere with me. Um, some photos from Topshop, like from the Polaroid bit, from my friend, of me and my friends, and um, we went to London together. Um, speaker that is charging, and look, Tinkerbell, my rabbit, ate the ear off of him. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, then I got my Simpson mouse pad, which is from Clinton's, Beats headphones, and my Mickey Mouse bag. And that is basically my office. I'm so happy with it. It's so cute. So now I've got to go edit that. And this is like a 25 minute video. Oh, who knew an office tour would take so long? Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my office tour. And I will see you when I next upload a video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Bye.